Good day everyone and welcome back to some Pocket Pixels Green where we are starting off here in the server hall because we do have a couple of things going on behind us. Like, there, the, you know, it's been a while since we've actually done anything on the server and it looks like we're going to be doing a little bit more for the next couple of weeks. Um, it looks like, you know, I've got a few ideas planned on what we can do in these said videos. And it's going to be a jolly good old time. I know videos on the channel itself has been quite here and there very recently. But hopefully we can get back into the swing of things. Uh, one of the first videos we will be releasing is this. And also of course SNL. But for the most part, what have we got going on? So we've got a Halloween shiny event. Uh, which is running throughout the entirety of Oct... Well, sorry. From the 28th to the 31st of October. So this is the last weekend. So the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday of October. Which is a 25% increased shiny rate odds for specific 15 specific Pokemon. So it'll be 1 in 500. So looks like we've got a few here. We've got Pumpkaboo, Ghastly, Mimikyu, Zoroa, and also Murkrow. Uh, the first five mentions, so there are another ten besides this. All of them are pretty cool shinies, if you do in fact ask me. And of course, if you do want to join the server, um, it is in the top hand screen. And if you do want to buy anything, because... Da -da 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 -da, there is a fall sale of 20% off. So if you do want to buy anything, uh, we do have the shop down the bottom here. Shop pocketpixels.net and of course if you do want to join the server yourself and play along we do play on the green server which is all the way over there to the left and um, but that is the ip it will also be on screen if i do remember to do so if not it is right there and um, but yes 20 percent off at the shop so make sure you go and check that out let's jump on to our server and let's get this episode underway Okie dokie, we are here, we're back onto the survey, it has been a while, it does look like a lot has happened since I last was on. A lot of you guys have been doing some cool builds, we've got some new ones going on in the back, we got one going on over there, there's one all the way out in the distance over there, you guys are awesome, if you have been on and you're in the vicinity, thank you, thank you, thank you, there's a lot of signs going on, very much preach, very much preach, we'd like to get a wall and put you on all on the wall, maybe. That would be really nice. I might do that at some point. Put everyone who's put the sign down here, put y'all on a wall. Just so we can keep it nice and consistent. I'll have a look into that. But anyways, uh, we have got an agenda for today. We did do this in the uh, last bunch of uh, episodes that we did do for this series. And that is catching um, certain Origins members as Pokemon. Now in this case, I'm going to be doing it as Origins characters. So Origins of Olympus, you will probably have seen as the title. Catching Origins of Olympus characters selected by you guys over on Twitter um, as Pokemon. So we have a list of, um, if I get my fancy dancy list over here. So we've got um, Naya and Amaya uh, with, as Ninetales and Alola Ninetales, which is our first comment. Uh, second one was Seductive Rose uh, and Aegislash. Slash. And the third one was in fact Helios and the variant, uh, so the Galarian Ponyta. Now, I'm not sure where we gather all of said Pokemon. We're going to be having a gander for those and looking for those. Um, but I know Vulpix spawns in Savannah. So, I think we'll start with that one. So, the first Vulpix, uh, I think we can do slash Safari. And we can go to the Savannah biome. Uh, oh, in fact, it's customary spawns. Oh, it's a, is that Cantonian Arbok? I can't remember the colours. With the red, I think it's Cantonian. Oh, there's Larvesta here too. That's pretty neat. And how rare of a spawn Larvesta is. Hey, Larvesta. I have a decent amount of items. Don't actually remember all of the items that I have on me, considering it has been a while since I've been on this server. Um, but... I wouldn't, I would, in fact, you know what, I'm just going to, can we do that? Will that work in our favour? I'm not sure Savannah is going to be the right biome, to be honest, because we do have the fire area biome as well. Um, like the volcanic biome or something it's called. This might take a while to actually show up if it catches, but never mind. Uh, let's have a look around real quick. Let's see if there is anything... Fancy that spawns that takes our liking. I don't think it's gonna spawn here. In fact, you know what? 
I am just going to go and check it. So, nether. So, we do have the houndos that spawn here. We have impidimp that spawns here. Um, I know Vulpix definitely does spawn in Savannah. I'm pretty sure it does. But, let's have a gander here real quick. Just in case, uh, we need a hone edge as well. For our Aegislash. Slash. Which would be pretty nice, because, you know, Seductive Rose is, in fact, a sword, and it's the closest to a sword Pokemon that we have. Um, I'm going to assume there's no... Nether slash Hell, yeah. Interesting. Interestante. Does it actually have the biome as set? Oh, it does set to Hell. That's cool. So I feel like it's probably going to be in the Savannah biome. Definitely going to be in the Savannah biome. We have ghosties here, but it's not the ghosties that we require. And the Salandits are cool, but again, it's not what we're after. Um, so yeah, it's probably going to be the Savannah Biome. So I'm probably going to have a gander over in the Savannah Biome once again. Um, but yeah, if we come across it, let's have a see. Aha! So while I was waiting here, it, it, it did go nighttime. And I did notice, obviously, the new spawns that are spawning. We've got a Torkoal here, which could be pretty cool. It is a Saturday, so this could be a Drought Torkoal, for all I know. Um, but yeah, we did get the Hone Edge to spawn, which is pretty, pretty spicy. Um, so let us grab ourselves a lovely, lovely... Uh, if I can confuse him. Only does 20% designing voice. Yeah, does a decent amount. Get this down a... Oh, wait, why are we not... Are we dealing damage? And now we're dealing damage. It wasn't for there for a moment. Uh, Hatena, you are getting bodied, bodied, bodied. Um, let's throw ourselves a great ball. Let's grab ourselves a hone edge. Let's get the first one rocking and rolling. That is the first one. Um, I do want to see if this... It is a drought talk hole. Kind of want to grab this just in case. In case we get round to a, another gym and we do, in fact, have the capabilities. I could actually live do here just to get some health back. So it doesn't quite, you know, knock us out. There we go. So there's the Torkoal. It is a drought ability, which is very, very nice. Uh, thanks to... We've got no guard on you. No ribbons. Unfortunate. And no ribbons on Torkoal. Torkoal could come in useful. So that is pretty nice. Torkoal can go in here. Hone Edge is our first one. So let's heal up real quick. And I can continue the hunt for the, um, the, 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 what's it called? I wanted to say Growlithe for some reason, but Growlithe is the right one. Let's continue the hunt for our Vulpix. And normal Vulpix. Hopefully it still spawns in Savannah. Okay, so after uh, scrolling around just for a little bit longer, I decided I was going to check because, um, yeah, it appears it's probably got a different spawn location now, which, to my surprise, it was. It now spawns in tiger biomes, um, which is very nice if we can actually get two tiger biomes, which are frozen and... The regular tiger biomes pretty much next week. Oh, we got the protocol effects. Um, but yes, Tepig, cool. Uh, so we're going to go and have a quick gander over at the tiger biomes. Um, but at night time, that apparently spawns. So if we go over to... Um, let's have a gander. Let's have a gander real quick because... Um, I do believe if we go to Frozen, we need snow... Ice Plains. Now, we need to find... I don't know if Ice Plains is going to count for our uh, other Vulpix. So, we've got uh, one of four, I believe, at the moment. The other one being uh, the Vulpixes. And what was the last Pokemon that I was looking for? Um, but we'll have a look for that in a minute. But I don't think... I don't know if Ice Plains counts. This is obviously Tiger. So this is where um, Vulpix will in fact spawn in this location apparently. If that is at all correct. 
There's some interesting Pokemon spawning here already. Um, some Corbin, some Pinko. So it looks like the bug types all spawn here as well, which is pretty neat. Um, but we need night time for Alolan Vulpix. Uh, sorry, for regular Vulpix. I do believe Alolan Vulpix also requires the night time. So let me double check. Uh, no, fro uh, freezing forests, it can spawn during the day. So that's cold tiger biomes. Does any of these class as a cold tiger? I would prefer it if one did. Oh, there's a deal in there. So during the day in the cold tiger biomes, you get a little Vulpix. Which, if I'm going to be honest, I don't think. Tiger Hills. Um, See, so yeah, obviously they're custom spawners, so they could quite spawn here if I'm lucky. But now the day night cycle does still affect them. Didn't know if the biome was going to affect it in any way, shape, or form. Um. Yeah. Oh, cold tiger. We have a tiny little bit of cold tiger here. So looks like Vulpix can spawn around this location, just this little bit here, probably. Is that the specific spawner setup? Yeah. Cold tiger. This is our cold tiger. Okay, so it looks like we've got some cold tiger. So I need to stay over this side. This whole area. So we can see an Alolan Vulpix. Probably not spawn. It's apparently ultra rare. I don't know what it's going to be like in the spawners. But I suppose we're going to have to wait and see. So daytime, we're going to be waiting over here. Nighttime, we're going to move inwards a little bit. <sighs> Joys. Now the wait begins. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't anywhere by anywhere near means what we are looking for, but I have found myself a Snom. And if you know me, Snom is one of my favorite Pokemon. So, Snom, you're going to join us. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Come with us, Snom. Snom, Snom, get in this Pokeball. Okay, well, my child, you're going to have to sit here and look at this Snom real quick. Snom, you're coming with me. Oh, it looks like he's gone to my party. That's cool. That's cool. I don't mind. But yeah, Snom. I like Snom. If I find any more, I'm probably going to catch a collection of Snom. Because I need another uh, another child to join my squad. And yeah, Snom is going to be my next child. So, Snom, Snom. Snom it is. Okay, after some very, 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 very long searching, I have managed to find one of... Uh, this episode's rolling over into two days of filming because of how long and how much it has taken to actually find ourselves any of the Galarian... So, haven't found ourselves a Vulpix yet. Haven't found ourselves a Galarian Vulpix yet, but this is the first thing that I've looked for out of the three that we're looking for that I've actually been able to find. So, Galarian Ponyta is our next encounter that I have been able to find. Hopefully here we can. I don't think this pony tack can actually hit us. So let's lower its health. And uh, let's go Pokeballs and Grey Balls. I am running out. We did catch it though. So there we go. Galarian Ponyta. Uh, bold nature. Cool. Um, so that is going to be going onto our list. That was a lot easier to find despite its rarity. Um, but yeah, we're not having much luck finding, um, the other, the, the, the Vulpix for some reason. Um, uh, maybe that's just me. I know it's a very high spawn chance for Galarian, um, no, sorry, not Galarian, uh, for the Vulpix, the Ice Gold Vulpix. Um, yeah, I was just having a walk through in Uganda to see if I could find any other of the rare encounters, but it would appear not. It would appear not. So, uh, yeah. Vulpix does spawn, apparently, in Mega Tiger. Now, there isn't a Mega Tiger at all on the server. So that's great. Um, I'm not sure if it spawns. It must have spawned at some point because I have it in my... Uh, Dex is something I've seen and actually encountered. So, 
there's got to be one somewhere in one of the previous videos that we've done where we've actually seen a Vulpix, potentially. Yeah, not sure. I'm going to keep looking. Um, but Galarian Vulpix, it's not Galarian, is it? Is it Galarian? No, it's not. Anyways, whatever. Uh, either one of the Vulpix is my goal for next. So, uh, again, I'm just going to wander around and see if we can find them because, yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah. The uh, the way we are actually going to be able to obtain at least the normal Vulpix is through... It, they spawn in a Mega Tiger, which I thought they did. Um, but apparently there isn't one on this map. And the other way to get it is if we go to the Ultra Space. And the other way we get to Ultra Space is if we get a Wormhole. So, we're going to have to wait for that. Uh, which is going to be kind of annoying if you ask me. Uh, why is nothing loading? That's always a good start. No, get off. Um, so let's have a see. Um, we need to level up our Seductive Rose here. Um, which we can do very, 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 very easily. Um, oh, I forgot they mementoed, so I didn't need to swap. Forgot that's how the mechanic here works. Um, let's go back out into it. There we go. Memento. So level up like crazy. Um, no, no, no. Out of Memento again. Iron Head. Pretty good move. And again. So this, I think, is it Force is going to be the best power trick now? And Memento again, this will level up quite a lot, which is good. This will evolve, and I have got ourselves a very, very nice Dusk Stone, ready to evolve this bad boy. This Yeard bad boy. There we go. So there are you. We've got ourselves our Dusk Stone ready. Let's evolve you. So I thought I'd do this as well in the meantime, because... Yeah, going to the Ultra Space is... Ugh, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game. Which is a little bit annoying. So, I thought, hey, why not get ourselves our... There we go, our Aegislash, Slash, the Seductive Rose. And then we get Ponyta, which should only need to evolve... Well, it only needs to level up once. Um, like so should get all of the levels. We've got Dazzling Gleam. Boom. Should get some decent levels. Uh, well, not even decent levels. The levels aren't too big of a deal here. Uh, we should get some decent stuff. Get rid of Confusion. Level 23 is a trainer now, Pog. Very, very nice. There we go. 50. There we go. So it is now level 53. We've got ourselves a Galarian Ponyta. Evolve that bad boy up. And that is going to become a lovely Galarian Rapidash. Very nice. Which is once alone Psycho Cut. There we go. Galarian Rapidash. One the full. And that was... Um, you haven't got any ribbons. That's sad. That is biggest sad... Ah, all the TMs. That's got a couple of level up moves by the looks of it. Oh, I love how it shows this. This is really, really useful. I kind of like that when they added it to the game. Um, but yes, yeah, so we had Seductive Rose and Rapidash was, if I remember correctly, for Helios. So we're going to name you Helios. There we go. So there are our two Helios and Seductive Rose, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Now we need to find a wormhole, which I'm not sure if there is an easy, uh, a quick, easy method to actually finding a wormhole on this server. I could be wrong, but it could be just a case of waiting, which is really eating at my time to get this episode posted, which is slightly irritating. Very, very irritating. Okay, so I have managed to get ourselves into the Ultra Space. It is a little bit, like... I don't, I don't know, quite know. It's a little bit annoying to move around, and not very many spawns are spawning. It's quite unforgiving with the spawns in here. 
Um, as you can see, every now and again, you get this like little burst. It's, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's quite unforgiving with the spawns. We haven't actually found a single, despite being in the Mega Tiger Hills, Mega Tiger um, location, we aren't actually finding any Vulpixes. The spawn rates, and it's only an uncommon spawn rate, but you know, I've not actually found a single thing um, in terms of a Vulpix. And given how the spawns are being at the moment, my luck just isn't going to be, uh, yeah, it's, it, well, I don't think we're going to find a Galarian. It's not a Galarian. Well, I, um, you know what it is. I keep calling it Galarian by accident. You know exactly what I mean. Um, but yes, we're not going to find either forms of it. So I'm going to declare this challenge beaten. We have been beaten by this challenge, and unfortunate we didn't get any of the Vulpixes. Maybe it's something I will look for here in the future. Um, because you know it would be kind of nice. They do exist. I have seen people with Vulpix. Um, somebody was selling one up in the chat here earlier. Um, but that is obviously fine. I guess I'll look for this in an episode in the future potentially. But yeah. The spawns, see, there are spawns, they're just very unforgiving. Um, but yes, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember to check out the store and all of the goodies. If you want to come onto the server, you're more than welcome to. Um, I have set up a player warp um, on the player warps page. I think we're probably like, I don't know. We're among all of these, um, but you should be able to see us on here somewhere. But we do have a player warp for you guys if you want to find our area. Um, but that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like button down very much. Do very much appreciate your guys' support. But for now, have a wonderful and safe day. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now, guys.